Hello, Rat Company, and welcome to my weekly zombie theories. This one is interesting, as you may have noted from the title. Now, remember, this is just a theory, and I am working off the information we had available at the time. Now, to reveal the true identity of the Pentagon thief, first we must look at the character itself. Many people jump to the conclusion that it must be Clark from the campaign because he created Nova 6, and the character models are so similar, almost identical. But with that logic, our Fab Four is all from the World at War campaign, which I don't agree with. I just think Treyarch likes to recycle character models. So if this isn't Clark, who is it then? I need you to understand that the Five map and the Ascension map are connected. Both maps are happening at the same time. While JFK is fighting zombies in the Pentagon, Dempsey is fighting zombies in the Cosmodrome. Our characters in Ascension are uncovering the secrets that happened there through the radios in the Quest Easter Egg. Through these radios, we learn about the Ascension Group and how they carried on Group 935's projects after World War II. Here we have two Russian scientists that end up butting heads. They are Dr. Gersh and Yuri. During their falling out, Yuri finds the secrets of 115 and is manipulated by Sam to bring the zombies to destroy them all. At this point in the storyline, Sam still wants to destroy all remnants of Group 935 in her rage to get her father back. Yuri finishes the Gersh device and unleashes the zombies on the group. Here, Gersh is sucked into the ether through the Gersh device. Sam now controls where Gersh is, and this is our first possible character for the identity of the Pentagon Thief. Throughout the Easter egg, Gersh continues to push our characters to free him as soon as possible. He refers to Sam in a panicked voice and says that she is coming, possibly using him as the Pentagon Thief in 5. But what I think is even more likely is after Gersh is shucked into the ether, Yuri becomes the Pentagon Thief. He is the one to find out the secrets of Group 935 first, using their information on Element 115 and the diary he hides. When you go into the texture files in Black Ops 1, you can find all the textures on the Pentagon Thief one of which is the Group 935 symbol on his bag. This screams to me that it, it was Yuri who was the Pentagon Thief, but still, anyone can make a very good case for Gersh. 
All the writings on the Pentagon Thief are extremely interesting because it looks like to have Illuminati code across the strap of the bag, in addition to having Illuminati pyramid on his coat as well. We constantly see the Illuminati throughout zombies, which start to beg the idea how they get involved. But some quick ideas could be their involvement with the Vrilia or possibly being behind the zombies in some shape, way, or form. I doubt them directly causing zombies like the MPD does, but think about how they always show up in every map from World at War to Black Ops 1 in some shape, way, or form. They have eyes and ears everywhere in our story. One more thing to point out is the chemical equations on his jacket. They are the same you find on the note in Kino Der Toten. This is the chemical equation we believe to be Nova 6. The equation is flawed by today's standard rules of chemistry, but in our fictional world, it works. This is where a lot of people try and shoehorn Clark back into it, but he makes no sense in the zombie storyline. At the very least, he doesn't fit like Gershon Yuri could. This can help explain how Nova 6 crawlers got into the U.S. as well, but I will explain more of the U.S. operations, how they impact zombies, in later videos. It's a lot to take in for this week. In summary, the Pentagon thief is either Gersh or Yuri from the Ascension Group scientists. I lean toward Yuri more based on the Ascension radios. But remember, it's just a zombie theory. And when new information comes out, understand we were working with what we had at the time. I want to thank all the community research that has been done to dig up these texture files and codes. I do want to acknowledge directly a discussion I found on CODs, which I will link in the description. I was looking to see if anyone had similar ideas to me and had this conversation before. And it's wonderful to see that people already had these thoughts ahead of time. But I don't want people getting upset because I was, quote unquote, their idea first and stealing it and blah. It's always a community effort, guys. And I, I see it from time to time when a lot of it stopped because people just argue. I mean, in that form itself, there's like three pages of just arguing over who the Pentagon thief is instead of presenting ideas and trying to dispute facts and stuff with the information we have. I mean, <laughs> there's no reason to. It's such a fun thing for all of us. Let's just try and enjoy it. Just my little two cents. Anyway, guys and girls, thanks for watching. And make sure to subscribe for more weekly zombie theory videos and zombie videos and all Black Ops 3 stuff and zombie reveals coming. And oh my god, by the way, this Jul uh, July 9th through the 12th, all my posters are going to be on sale. The broke ass college kid sale. Woohoo! So make sure to check that out at radcompany at squarespace.com. And make sure to leave a rating if you did enjoy this video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!